everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and this is day 19 of the 30 day challenge. So good job if you're still sticking with it. If you're new, you can join in now or you can go on my blog and start from the beginning. You can find everything at benderfitness.com. Let's get started. Today's workout is a 15 minute interval workout. One round takes 15 minutes and I'm going to be using dumbbells, but you can also use a kettlebell if that's what you have or body weight if you're just building up. I have my interval timer set for 10 and 50 second rounds, um, 10 seconds of rest, 50 seconds max reps. Exercise number one is a dumbbell swing. So I have my timer set. I have just a couple seconds before it goes off and I'm going to start with a right handed dumbbell swing. So back stays straight the entire time, reach behind yourself, push up through the hips. So the arm is swinging out, back stay straight. I'll turn to the side. Back stay straight. You're thrusting with the hips. The arm is just following. Core tight. Weight in the heels. Keep going. Squeeze the glutes every time. Okay, Bulgarian split squat is next. Starting with the right foot forward. Dumbbell on each hand or one. Shoulders back. And it's an up and down movement. So knee stays behind your toes. Sink those hips down. Bring the back knee toward the ground. Push through the heel to lift. Core tight. Okay, left side of dumbbell swing, weight in my left hand, same form, back stay straight, hips press back, glutes squeeze tight. Done. Remember, thrust through the hips. Last five seconds. Next is a left foot forward Bulgarian split squat. Again, knee behind the toes, up and down motion. Hips stay in the same spot, just move up and down. Core tight. And press through the heel to lift. body back straight hips pressed backwards once again core tight weight shifts into the heels 
far as you can reach while keeping the back straight. And squeeze through the glutes to lift. You can have a slight bend in your knees if you need to. Last 10 seconds. Flatten that back. No arch in the back. There we go. Next we have a chair twist. One dumbbell for this exercise. Chair pose. Heels and knees together. Butt reaches backward. Slight curve in the back. And we're going to bring it to the side. Tap. Center. Oops. Tap. Center. Tap. Butt reaches back. Control the motion. You never want to jerk when you're twisting your spine. And core stays tight the whole time. Okay, next we have Crunch and tap. So we get to lay down on the floor for this one. Knees at a 90 degree angle. Hands reach. Crunch up. Keep that 90 degree angle. Tap. So a little lift and tap. You can even lift straight up. Every time you tap though, keep the angle so your lower abs are really working and pull that core tight. Next we have single leg deadlift. So just like the Romanian deadlift, back stays straight. This time we're doing it like a warrior pose. So one leg stretches out behind you, bring the leg up, lift. Keep that leg back. Slight bend in the standing leg. Knee facing down. Okay, same thing on the other side. Press those arms for a second. Right leg was reaching, this time left leg reaches. <clears throat> Slight bend in the standing leg. <clears throat> Knee facing down. Back stays flat. Halfway done. <clears throat> Next, we have side plank row. Okay, so for this one, extended arm side plank, feet stack, or they can go one in front of the other. Bring the weight under your body, so you have to reach under, 
row. Bring it up to your shoulder. Down and in. Controlling it up and down. You should really feel that downward motion in the core. Same thing on the other side. That break feels nice. Okay, side plank. Bring it underneath your body. Core tight, row. Fifteen seconds left. Core tight. Okay. Heel tap. So for this one, arms are going to extend overhead with the weight. And the heels are going to tap. Or you can just tap them low if you want to. So shoulders are slightly lifted. All parts of your core are working. Don't drop the weight. If you need to, just set it down. Last 15 seconds. we have grand plie second position so that means feet are wide toes pointed out weight is going to be in your hands back stay straight bring it as far down toward the floor as you can but chest lifted if you can bend this far that's fine if not go to where it's comfortable squeeze the glutes so even if that's here that's okay squeeze the glutes Keep the back straight up and down. Last 15 seconds. Last five seconds. Okay, next we have Super Girl Row, right and left. You can either do this in an all fours position or in a plank position. So I'm going to start with right leg, left or left leg, right arm, lift and row down. So really challenging the core. Lift. Last 15 seconds. Five seconds. Same thing on the other side. Again, from plank or from all fours.
Core tight. Keep breathing. Last 15 seconds. Okay guys, so that was my workout for today. Don't trip over your weights. <laughs> um, as always, the breakdown will be on my blog, benderfitness.com, and there's over, way over 400 freedom workouts now, plus the 30-day challenge, which is still ongoing. Day 19, good job guys. So I hope to see you guys there, benderfitness.com. Have a great day.